135 grain critical duty, two of those. Back off guys, I don't want trouble. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for all you old school cats out there, as well as all you young guys that want to be a little bit hip, cool, and different, a little bit more manly, but yet still stay practical. Boy, do I got something for you. I got something for you. Could this be the best ever carry training and SHTF revolver? There is, look at my beautiful Taurus 692. Could this be the best? Well, yes, I think it is. And when you watch all the shooting, you'll see some of the reasons why, because it can do everything. You got 357, 38 and one cylinder. And uh, you see, oh, I still got my nine millimeter cylinder in there as I was finishing up the night. And I kept going back and forth throughout the training. And boy, guys, does this impress me. So why do I say it could do everything? Well, guys, my other videos on revolvers have been pretty popular. Like uh, my Taylor Ruger GP100 is a seven shot 357 Magnum, a viable CCW choice. I mentioned the 692 quite a bit in there. And uh, now that I got one from Taurus, thanks for sending it out. I am thoroughly impressed, guys. It usually comes with rubber grips. My initial shooting and unboxings with the rubber grips. Then I changed this out to this beautiful rosewood fingered and checkered um, grip that Ultimat sent me. So the Ultimat grips for the, the tracker frame, kind of the bigger 44 Magnums and stuff uh, for the Taurus judges, that's what fit on here. It took a little bit of finagling, but it seems to work great. And boy, is it comfortable. And now what a beauty this gun is. I wasn't sure how much I would like the porting. You'll see in the video what a difference it makes, even as I compare it to uh, the 38 ounce revolver here, this is only 35 ounces, but 35 ounces with the porting, even with the rubber grips, hottest ammo, no problem. Once I put the, the wood grips in, um, still with really hot ammo, basically no problem. Still felt the 158s a little bit, but even less so because of the porting working than uh, my other revolver, very similar size and specs. So, um, boy, you can swap it out of that 9mm frame and then isn't it the best for training? Nine millimeters way cheaper, and I think way better for me to train nine millimeter in this than putting 38s in my other revolver. Because 38s are more expensive, and it's not going to give you even half the energy and recoil impulse as 357 Magnum. Like literally, I think it was about 40%. Um, so it, it's not nearly as giving you the same kind of feeling of nine millimeter, which is actually higher pressure than 357 Magnum. People don't realize it, it's just a shorter case. So, 357 Magnum is 35,000. Um, same thing as 9mm. 9mm plus P is 374 to 38.5, depending on who you ask. I think 38.5, 38,500. So, PSI. So, 9mm is a better training aid and a cheaper training aid anyway. And anyone can handle the recoil 9mm with this. Not a problem. Uh, 357 Magnum, 3 inch barrel. You're probably going to get about 1,360 feet per second out of that uh, with like hot old school Federal or Remington 125 grain semi-jacketed hollow points. You're going to get great with modern 357 Magnum. You're going to get probably almost 1,200 with a 124 plus P 9 millimeter. So an SHTF, I think that could still drop a deer and feed the family if you were a good hunter. Um, seven shot cylinder. Look at my, is it viable? Is a seven shot 357 Magnum viable? Well, I'm much happier with seven shot 357 Magnum than five shot 38, okay? So if you wanna be a modern cowboy, but you wanna be practical, this is the bad boy that I think can really do it all. The double action trigger pull is actually very nice. I'm really impressed with it. It was super easy to stack. Watch me shoot headshots over and over again, with both nine and 357 and various bullet weights in both, it headshots at 15 yards by, by stacking the trigger and then dropping it. It's easy to stack and drop, stack and drop. It's 
very smooth, fast. Single action, I don't know if it's going to be everyone's. It's a little heavy, but, but you know where it's going to break and just put gradual pressure and then it breaks. Um, so not bad. I don't even know if I took more than a few shots in single action day, maybe not even on video. Fought a couple rounds of 38 off video, um, but I fired 124 grain, 115 grain hot SMB. I fired 125 grain the hottest uh, federal stuff. I fired 135 grain critical duty. I fire 158 grain arms core. I fire 158 grain scorching hot fuel key. Um, so guys, overall, I think this is a great buy. I mean, it's March. Isn't it time to buy another gun? Happy March. Merry March, everybody. Merry March. And, uh, I am impressed with it. And you're going to see why if you continue to watch the full video as we go on, guys, I start slow and I had to dial in sights and figure out where I'd want them so it would work both for 357 and for 9mm. I was just wanting to work both out to 10 yards. It seems like it is even good to 15 yards that way. Um, a lot of people online asking that question. I basically figured it out for you uh, using all the different bullet weights. And um, overall, guys, uh, the quality is really good. I'm not being BSing you. I took it to the range. I had the two guys that work there look it over as well before I shot. I had one of them shoot it afterwards. They're all impressed with it. It seems really good quality, guys. So I'm giving Taurus a shot. I think everybody should because I think the quality is a lot better now than it was three years ago. And before, they're investing a lot in a plant in Georgia. I think they're focusing on items like this 692, 856, G2C. If you register in 30 days, look at their website, you still get the lifetime warranty. So there's certain items that I think they're really, you know, standing behind. They know are solid, good things. If the tracker 28 ounces was good, this 35 ounce tracker should be able to hold up and do really, really well. And so guys, is this the best carry, training, SHTF, everything in one? Light enough, three inches that you can carry concealed and train everyone on and do it all. What do you think? Let me know, guys. Guys, obviously, I want to thank Taurus Altamont Grips for sending that out. I want to thank TK Custom. Um, all five of the, uh, the the moon clips that come with it, great. TK Custom sent me three. Worked great. Um, and uh, awesome targets from Targets Online. So, everybody, thank you. And, guys, no BS. Watch the video and enjoy lockup by the way we didn't do this on camera lockups tight whether single or in double or i cock it or not lockup seems tight in both cylinders it's the nine millimeter cylinder now but in 357 this is a, no more no you know than any other uh revolver the big two else that are out there um overall quality does seem very very good obviously you know i'll pour it on it long term but uh watch the video guys Guys, also watch my full unboxing video. There's other stuff covered in there. I wanted to thank Don Hume for sending these holsters out. It's in the GP100 holster now. A little loose, fits good. It can also fit in the K-frame holster I have here, uh, but a little tight. I think it's kind of more like an L-frame. It's gotten beefed up over time as far as I know. Taurus, let me know if I'm gone, wrong, but it seemed like it got beefier and beefier and sturdier uh, over time, this tracker frame. And... Um, you know, it can kind of fit in any of those three, really, but probably more like Elfrin. But uh, great holsters, as usual, from Don Hume. And, guys, one last thing I want to say is, dear Taurus, look how beautiful this is with these Rosewood Ultimat grips. And now that you have released Set Shot Show, the 856 Defender Series, why? Because some guy's been putting out how three-inch barreled revolvers are so awesome. Balanced ballistics, perfect concealed carry, everything. Um... The A56 Defender Series, especially when you got with the Altamont Grips. So I know you work with Altamont, the beautiful Taurus logo grips that they got now. And uh, Ameriglow Front Sight. If you came out with a 692 with a beautiful Altamont grip and this nice stainless, uh, matte stainless, whatever you want to call it, matte stainless finish. And you put on a front big orange night sight like from Ameriglow or like uh, um, Exus. F8 sights have the big orange front dot. If you had like a big orange front dot night sight and the Ultima grips, boy, that's a version I think you guys should come out with. Hopefully you'll do that next year. Just wanted to throw that out there, Taurus, because I think people are going to go, oh my goodness, look at that. So enjoy the video, everybody. Just one more thing, guys. I'm 420 is my birthday. So besides the Diaz brothers celebrating my birthday and a lot of people around the world, you know, Taurus kind of fits in with me. 
and guys being Brazilian, and I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, as well as three other black belts, including from Gene LaBelle, and I'm known as a catch wrestler. Learn some catch shits, you guys. Learn some combatives. Get some training. Be safe in firearms. And also get some martial arts training. So martial artists out there, you should probably be learning firearms because that's modern martial arts. And guys that are more into the firearms side, you should be learning some combatives, Jiu-Jitsu, catch jitsu, putting the catch wrestling and Jiu-Jitsu together. Look at my playlist, breaking down each position. Guys, I filmed 10 hours with BJJ Finn fanatics and effective self-defense.com bjj fanatics going to be having my combatives and street jiu-jitsu series the stuff that i really use that's really worked on the streets in actual multiple opponent weapons fights and years and years of bouncing and travels around the world where i've had to defend myself so guys it's really important to get some martial arts some hands-on stuff to be more confident to learn avoidance and for weapon retention so with the power of Catch wrestling, jujitsu, combatives, or catch jitsu, and the power of a seven shot 357 Magnum Taurus, you're probably ready to handle yourself in Rio. So, anyway, guys, be safe out there and try to learn it all to defend yourself. Hey guys, Dan the Walker here. I'm about to shoot my 692 Taurus for the first time. Multi I'm going to start with the 357 Arms Core Ammo 158, and I'll be adjusting and taking my time adjusting sights lower and lower to get it more towards point of impact probably to like 125 or 135 grain 357 magnum and then hoping that nine millimeter only hits about an inch low at 10 yards zeroing it in but to start with i want to see it 15 yards with the arms core 158 it'll probably be pretty on at that range then i'll be going through it so here it is guys i did unboxing video seems a lot of people are excited about this and uh anyway we'll be doing 357 and nine millimeter and then changing out grips and see how it goes. Two shots, three shots, 158 grain, 357 arms core. I think it's 15 yards. I'm gonna. Uh, wow. I can tell you already that between the river grips and the porting, I think the porting is legit. That's probably 20% less recoil. Um, these aren't the hottest rounds, but they're kind of medium. So I'm going to pause and see where the hits are before I start playing with sights and stuff. All right, well, I'm not the greatest shot, uh, but one was there, one was a little high, one was a little low. But so if the average is kind of in there, what am I going to hurt here? It's about one inch low from where I was aiming, two inches. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let that one go, but I hit the heart. I think those are on. All right, so I aimed here. I got there the first time, second time, third time. The second time I broke the shot before I planned on it. Um, so it probably is set 158 at 25 yards. That's how most 357 Magnums are set. Or I yanked a little bit low, um, but it's pretty on already four magnums and I'll have to be adjusting it to get down to 125 grain magnums and to uh, nine millimeter stuff. All right guys, let's do another five double action, uh, 10 yards. Just kind of curious where I'm hitting. Well, 10 yards, that's me just a little bit low, but they're all in there on the spine of the heart, actually. For DA, I'm already getting the trigger down. One, two, three, four, five. I, I believe that's uh, what they were on these five. Anyway, anyway, they're in there. I'm going to go for two head shots. 357, 10 yards. DA. One was on, I think the first shot was, yeah, first shot's high right, second shot's pretty much dead on. Um, so I'm, I'm still learning the trigger. I'm still learning the trigger. I'm going to swap out and do the first nine millimeter shots and see if I can get them in the head or not before I start playing with sights. Uh, it is that fast, that easy to switch. I'm going to do 124 grain first and then 115. I'm assuming the 124 is going to hit. A tad bit higher, but I'm not really dialed in enough yet. No, unfortunately. Uh, that was dead on. 
And that's the sound of that was a little low left and head neck. That was on, I think, just a little low. And there we go. So a little shaking and the nine millimeters came out. Uh, I think 124 was on, 115 a little bit low, just like I suspected. So I got to kind of find that balance in between. Okay, so Magnum there, Magnum uh, there, 9 millimeter, 9 millimeter, 9 millimeter, 9 millimeter. So the first 9 millimeter shot, 124 was there. Magnum, Magnum, 124, 115, 115, 115. So it's probably a little bit lower. Still, some of it's me. So anyway, I want to kind of. I think I'm going to put it at like 125 grain or 135 grain magnum and then eventually see how much lower the 9 millimeter is and if it's only an inch lower at 10 yards it's kind of what I'm hoping for out of this and it looks like it, it looks like it looks like that's what it's going to be I think. All right guys I actually put the site up just a little bit uh, we'll see where that goes later. I'm going to plug uh, three rounds on the top the Yoki 158 nearly two test the great recoil management that seems to have this, this 158 hot stuff is hot it's heavy it hurts my thumbs usually with a wooden grip at least before i switch this out possibly see if a wooden grip i got from ultima fits or not i just want to kind of see where the recoil reduction ability is of these grips before i change them and the porting of course wow <laughs> so one, that Fioki 158 is pretty much the hottest, heaviest training ammo I've found. Uh, that was dead on the way, and uh, boy, the ports and the ribbons do seem to work. I think I'm going to change them out if these ultimate grips will fit, but I think I, I, I'm a believer in the porting. Well, looky, 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 looky. Which one's which? Here's my Ruger GP100 Taylor Edition. With I always thought they were Ultima grips, and look at the uh, this now, the 692 with the Ultima grips. Doesn't that look beautiful? Fit took a little bit, but I think it's going to work because it's really for like bigger trackers, 44 Magnums, towards Judge. Um, there's a little bit of loose space in the front, but not the back, and it feels beautiful in the hand. And just look how beautiful it is. So now let's see how it works with the hottest ammo before we do anything else. Alright guys, bear with me. I always rock and roll at the end of my videos, but I'm playing with sights and grips and stuff. I always rock and roll, do cool stuff at the end. But, we're also doing point of impact stuff. I had bumped the sight up a little bit, so I do expect these to hit hot. But I'm going from hot stuff, the hottest stuff, 158 grain Fioki, to arm score 158, alternating all seven rounds. And I kind of want to see where they hit, and then I want to switch to 9mm at 10 yards to see how big of a difference uh, it is. And I'm testing the recoil with these new beautiful Ultima grips to see if that'll work for me even with the hottest, hottest, heaviest, you know, heavy 58 stuff or not. So test Let's see these grips. They're great. They're beautiful. God, I love Ultima grips. You can probably see from the flame coming out the ports, I'm guessing, the difference in recoil, but it was, still wasn't that bad with wooden grips, and it hurts me with my GP100. So that's telling me that, and that's the hottest one I really use, that's telling me that the porting really works. Uh, I think those are both A-zone, by the way. all seven and uh so uh the arm score didn't hurt at all the the fioki hurt a little bit with the wood grips whatever grips it didn't keep that in mind and that's really as hot as i go and 125 even really hot fioki is not as bad to me as the 150 um so it seems i can handle the recoil even defensive grips, what i wanted to know seems like the ports definitely work uh and actually let's look at my hits 
And for 10 yards DA with the new revolver, I'm happy with six out of seven being in the smaller A zone, one just a little bit low that's still very spinal. You see almost all my shots are centered, just a couple a little bit left, six out of seven there, and that's alternating between hotter 158 and milder uh, arm score 158. So that's that. So now we're going to get to, uh, I can put in 9mm, and I'm guessing I'll be down here with 9mm at 10 yards for 115. 24 would be a bit, little bit up, 125 grain uh, magnum would be there, and I kind of got to get the sight somewhere in the middle. So it works for both carry magnums and uh, training if it's just an inch low at 10 yards, and most of your stuff's 357. I think we'll work Gray silhouette down there, 10 yards, 124 grain SMB, which is really hot stuff. Dropping in that moon clip goes right in. Let's see where the hits are from here. Dejection. Good stuff. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, four. Seven. Low, two in there, a little low, maybe it's just a tad bit lower if I was doing uh, But uh, you can see that you can it for nine and not be that off once you dialed in. Alright, I brought the sight up one half turn. Ten yards again. Upper box, great ejection, stellar clips working good. All right, so bring it up a half turn to 10 yards with 124 grade 9 millimeters. Seem to do trick. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know in there, but anyway, I was aiming a little more up with thoracic right around here, and you see at least four of them right around there, and five, six right there. So um, that's kind of doing the trick, and now compared to 125 Magnum or 135 Magnum, it's probably within an inch difference at 10 yards is what I've always hoped, which is perfectly acceptable. All right, guys, going to start working for the down human holsters they sent me, by the way. Let's see if I can make a 15-yard DA headshot, 124, and I'm not even really dialed in an elevation between all the different calibers and weights there. Let's see if I can do it. All right, just a little low. Just a little low in the neck jaw area. And again, the sights are a little bit low for 9mm, I think. And I'm finding the sweet spot between 357 and 9mm. But let's keep going. Let's try it again. Amazing it made that DA headshot at 15 yards. Pretty good myself, even though a little low. We know that the 9mm is going to be a little low. I may bring the sights up more later. Uh, but let's see where they are. So if they're a little low, all right. See where they are. Let's see how I did. Seven out of seven, new revolver, new grips, headshots, I'll take it. Even though a little low, we've talked about it. Um, I think that was my first one, and then I got the rest in there, and that's probably the one that got away from me, because uh, I was trying to stack the trigger before breaking it. Um, but obviously, new revolver, it's capable of some nice accuracy and one flyer. The rest were pretty much right there. If I moved the, the sights up a little bit, the group would be a little bit higher, and that'd be about perfect. Uh, I think I'm actually going to put the, let, let's see where some one, uh, nine, uh, 357 hits will probably be up here, and it'll give me a kind of idea, and then we can keep adjusting. 15 yards DA trying to stack now with Magnum 125 grain, Federal 125 grain, semi, semi jacket at hollow point. We'll be going usually about 1,400 feet per second out about the three inch GP100 barrel out of the Taurus with the porting, probably 25 less, so about 1360, 1365 would be my guess. Hot, hot, hot stuff. Okay, that's good. Let's see where they are. 
one in there near the nitrogen meter and one higher. It should have been higher, so I probably pulled one here and I pulled one a little missing 15 yards, but that's the truth of it. Um, expensive ammo, I think I'm going to put two more in here and then I might do critical duty after that. It's expensive ammo, but let's try two more. 125 personal defense. So I'm going to jack it in hell of one. Recoil's good, but not unmanageable even with the wood grip. I think the 158s are going to hurt uh, a bit too much. We did that earlier, but um, this could still be carry load because that porting's working uh, really good. All right, baby, come to Papa. Dead center and here. So these are uncircled. They're 9 millimeter. These are the 357, 125 grain. Semi-jacket at half point federal, 1,400 feet per second almost. That's not the one that shows me that... 125 and Magnum 124 are not that big of a difference like in a 15 yards even, so even less than 10 yards. So that's uh, really, really good. <laughs> Guys, amazed I'm making all these headshots. Let's do 135 grain critical duty, two of those. Since I use it as backup ammo, I want to make sure that it fires in this gun. And let's see if it hits higher because it's heavier grain or not. Not bad recoil. Guys, new revolver, multi caliber, 135 grain critical duty, 135 grain critical duty, 15 yards, my first time with a revolver. I am happy with that. 125, 125 Magnum, 125 Magnum, I only miss 125 Magnum. Those are my four federal, really hot stuff. Critical duty, 135, critical duty, 135, and my nine millimeters were down in here. That's pretty awesome that's showing you the dial on the sights, the variance isn't that huge. We haven't really done 115 yet, it might be a little bit lower. But that at 15 yards, so you know, seven yards, ten yards, it's not gonna be that big of a difference that people are wondering online. Before I change tar targets, let's do 115 SMB and 15 yards. See how much lower it really is hitting. Wing clips are fun. Guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, and looks like seven's probably in here. So, out of all these, 115, 124, 125 Magnums, hottest, 135 critical duty, I only got one miss at 15 yards, double action, stacking the trigger. That's not bad. So, obviously, the accuracy is here, and it's not this huge variance everyone thinks. So, at 10 yards, is it going to make a difference in self-defense at three, five, seven, even ten yards? I don't think so. We'll to... Two bad guys, five and seven yards, three fifty-seven Magnum. Get back off, guys! I only trouble. Oh. Just been six shots, but really, I'd have one more. Let's go again. Just to make sure. Off and only five yards. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Very good. Let's see if I can go through 21 rounds for uh, one and three reloads. Seven yards. Well, no problems. Considering how rapid fire that was at seven yards, 21 rounds in a row, or 28 rounds, I'm bad at math today, 28 rounds in a row, um, 
These were earlier the left hand only, but all this right here covering my hand out splayed is 28 rounds. And even that one low is on the spine. If this were a uh, qualification course for law enforcement, I was way faster and still making my hits. I had absolutely no issues with beautiful revolver. In 57, two rounds of 38 off camera. Uh, before I got back on camera now, because I was waiting for data, I shot a lot more 357, including offhand. The ports really work. The automatic grip is wonderful. I want to thank TK Custom. I was using their moon clips as well as the five stellar clips that came with it. Both function flawlessly. Overall, I am highly impressed. You see, I got it dialed in. So you can use all kinds of ammo once you get the sights dialed in, and you're only going to get a little bit of elevation difference. Uh, I've had no failures at all. The gun's hot. I've shot a lot of 9mm and a lot of 357. So definitely the 692 is getting a thumbs up for me. Thanks, everyone. So, guys, please share, like, and subscribe. Makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. I want to thank Don Hume for sending out these holsters. Oh, what's going on now? Matching bad boys. Uh, again, Taurus, thanks for sending it out. 692 has been perfect. Not a single hitch with any kind of ammo. 115, 124, 125 Magnum. 158, 38, I shot a couple. I shot 158, really hot stuff. Fioki, 158 training magnums. Uh, Arms core, I shot uh, 135 grand critical duty, a couple of them. I shot, uh, you know, it was, it's been great. It's been great. So, the Taurus 692 multi caliber, two thumbs up, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, all that. I got four loose rounds left, what to do, but maybe shot some off in. And they dropped out. So, hey, there you go. Thanks, everybody.